So I'd like to share with you some very important statistics about men's health. Studies have shown that, for example, men at every age, they, they are sicker than women, and also on the average, uh, they live about five years less than women. If you look at like a lot of uh, diseases such as, like, for example, HIV, we see that men are affected three times more than women. You look at, for example, mental health disease, that's much more common in men among uh, women. And also, in our field of cancer, we see about 1.3 times more uh, affinity for men to have cancer than women. Why is that the case? Well, men, we know that they're risk takers. They are not going to see doctors, as we discussed before. They are not getting the screening. You know, it's very interesting. When I deal with women and men in my practice, men are the kind of species that when something is not broken, they really don't want to fix it. If the car is my, not making the sound, and this is not to compare human body with a car, even though there are a lot of similarities, but if the muffler is not making the noise or if the car is not running well, there's no reason to go see the mechanic. Well, it's the same thing that, you know, goes on uh, among men. But when it comes to women, they are very proactive. In fact, we know that about 70% of healthcare decisions in America is made by women. As I discussed before, it's our wives and girlfriends and your mothers that are pushing you to go out and get tested. They are more detail-oriented. They want to know more. When they go shopping, they spend a lot of time looking for that dress. They may go for hours and hours, and at the end, they may even end up returning a lot of that. But with men, how do we shop? We go in, we spend 15 minutes, we either get our tie or get our shirt, and if we don't see it, we're out. Well, that's exactly the same way that they go about the healthcare and choosing the doctors and choosing their uh, medical decisions.